This video is about uh, the IBM e server, which is right now with me. This is 17 years old IBM e server, and this has been manufactured in 2004. And this was with me since then. And from 2013 onwards, this server was on ideal stage. I was using it for my development purpose, and later I moved to some other. Uh, servers and uh, since then this was been ideal. This is IBM e server with uh, Xenon processor uh, that has, in, uh, has dual processor and the series is X series 226. And now my attempt is to see if it works or more uh, to restore it and see if it works. Then I, my attempt is to install Windows. 11 inside it. Right now this is running uh, with the Linux platform and I'm going to uh, try to install uh, Windows 11 inside uh, this. So let's see uh, if it works or not. If it works then the next part is Windows 11. So let's start. So let's have a uh, walk around and closer look at uh, this one. Uh, so I'll turn it around just for you to see. This is how it, you can open uh, the, the server. There is a key here. You have to unlock it using the key. Then uh, there is a pull uh, lever here which you have to use to unlock it. This is how you can unlock the case. And now Let's see, it comes around. This is very huge. I will check the weight of this one. And uh, you can see that it has got uh, dual SMPS and dual supply system and uh, many other uh, parts. We will check it closely. We will uh, check everything. This is, this is the other side. It's all plain. This is the front end. And you can see uh, it has got a disk drive, then a floppy, which uh, so many of you might not is familiar with. This has got a floppy disk, and uh, there is two USB uh, drive, and these all slots are hard disk slots. Right now it has two hard disk. This is of Xenon. As you can see the branding here. Hope you can see that. This is Xenon and this is X series 226. I'll take you closely, show you closely. This is the IBM e server. This is Intel X series 226. I can see, I'm just giving a walk around of this. This is the key for you can unlock it. This is so dusty and it is you can see that it is, I have not used it for nearly last 8 years since 2013 I am not using this one. So let's open it. This is the keyboard of this server. This is IBM OEM keyboard and uh, this is the keyboard of this server. This is so dusty I have to clean everything. You saw having the old pin, you can see that this is the pin. So let's keep it here and let's check the weight of this server. So I'm going to check the weight of this one. It is very heavy actually. I have to hold it very tight. I'll show you what is the way. This is the weight of this server, 24.5 kg. Now, next, this is the server and next, I'm going to open it and see what is the status inside. Not sure whether it works or not. 
So this is how you can open it. This is the key here. We have to turn on the key. Now after that, there is a lever here. You have to pull that lever back. It's all. Yeah. It opened. It's all breaking out. Now, this is the inside of the server. Now I am. This there is a system service information here. It is mentioned here. This is the inside of the server. It's huge, it's heavy. This is the lock, it is not working properly, maybe. Okay. Yeah, so this is it. It remains pretty neat. Even after these long years, it remains pretty nice. Uh, there is not much of uh, dust inside. Still, I'll remove all the dust from inside. Hope you can see the inside. This is the inside of the server. This is the inside of it. Doesn't seem there is too much of dust now. I'm trying to boot it. The next stage is to boot it after cleaning everything. I'll try to boot it. Now I have connected the keyboard and uh, the monitor, and I have to connect the power. Yeah. The SCBS has started. You can hear it. That's power. It has started. Cool. Let's see if it works or not. The display has not yet come. The SMPS has the power. Terminal has started. Now let's turn on. Now I'm going to turn it on. Yes. It's still working. You see. It's still working. I'm sure why it is taking a time for the display. Yeah, starting IBM. Wow. It's still running even after a long 17 years. Let me check if the C drive CD drive is running or not. Whoa, it's working. So dusty. As you can see, it's so dusty. Still, it's wrong. I'll show you closely how dusty it is. So it is right now running. This is installed the way uh, Linux is installed in it. Uh, I'm not sure which version and how to boot it to the Linux uh, because there was some code to boot it to the Linux uh, that time. Uh, since that's not been used for very long, uh, 
shrine uh, that is from since 2030. There is something need to need to be reset. Now I'm happy that this is running, and now I'm going to uh, next video. I'll be trying to install Windows 11 inside it and see how does it work. So thanks for watching this video. I'll come up with uh, the updates on this IBM e-server uh, with Windows 11. So keep watching my video. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.